Greetings and welcome to our daily walk through the scriptures for May the 1st. You have made it to the fifth month. Keep it up. Congratulations. Good job. Day 122, to be exact, uh, in the One Year Bible app. And today finds you reading Judges chapter 15 and 16, John chapter 2, Psalm 103, and Proverbs chapter 14, verses 17 through 19. Now, I do love the story in John chapter 2 of Jesus in his first miracle. Uh, and, and we could spend some time on that, but I really think we need to start with Samson again and, and see if we have time to talk about that miracle. Um, we see Samson get married in the previous chapter, and he gets married to a woman he shouldn't be getting married to, yet he does what he wants to do, just like we talked about yesterday. And he, you know, he finds out that his wife got taken and given to somebody else for whatever reason. And so he gets really mad, and so he captures these foxes, and he burns down basically their fields by lighting their tails on fire, which is really kind of kind of cruel. Um, but but there's a scene in here that, that once again, that, that shows that Samson is that whitewashed tomb, that he really just is about acting out what God does most of the time, but he it's not in his heart. Okay, and that comes in whenever Samson, whenever the Philistines come and and try to uh, to get him. And so they tie him up and Samson breaks through the bindings. The bind- God makes the bindings basically kind of rot. And then in verse 15, finding a fresh jawbone of a donkey, he grabbed it and struck down a thousand men. Now, why is this a significant verse? Because Na- Samson, like we talked about yesterday, is a Nazarite. And part of the Nazarite vow is to never touch a dead body whether it be an animal or a person, you are never supposed to touch a dead body. Well, this is the second time that Samson has has done this, okay? The first time, remember, was yesterday when he went and he uh, got honey out of the carcass of a lion. So here's Samson, second time, violating this rule. Obviously, the first time Samson did it and he saw that nothing happened, he recognized at some point that he had freedom to go ahead and continue to do whatever he wanted to do. So now he takes the jawbone of a donkey and he uses it to kill a thousand men. Now, here's the interesting thing about this story, uh, and it's something that we should all take heed and pay attention to. And that is that when we make choices, when we choose to sin, when we choose to do the things that we want to do, God lets us. He does. God lets us make these choices. He makes us, he, he allows us to make these choices and he allows us to, 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 to do whatever we will. However, he also makes it to where we have to face consequences. We have to face the natural consequences of whatever action comes. And in the case of Samson, we see it when he finds this prostitute, Delilah, Okay. And he decides, oh, excuse me, no, Delilah's not the prostitute. First, he meets the prostitute, also great thing, good Nazarite thing. And then he meets this woman, Delilah, who is not Jewish, okay? She is, uh, she's a Philistine. And so once again, he's hanging out with somebody he's not supposed to. And his selfishness continues and it blocks him and it makes him think that he's invulnerable. And so he falls in love with this woman who, who clearly doesn't, feel the same way because she flat out betrays him. She she time and again tries to get him to reveal his secret. Finally he does, you know, using manipulation and and so they cut his hair. And even in Samson's death, he doesn't learn. Samson gets his eyes poked out, he gets his hair cut and basically they uh they they put him on display as ridicule. Uh, and after time, the Bible says that, that his hair had grown out, okay? So as a result of that, Samson calls upon God one last time to give him strength. But this isn't some noble thing that Samson is doing here. This isn't some thing where Samson's going, God, give me victory for your glory. He just wants revenge, because they poked out his eyes and they shaved off his hair. Samson's life is tragic, 
Samson's life is a life that shows the consequences of when we do what we choose to do. There's nothing good about Samson's story for Samson himself. Now, he does bring peace to the people of Israel for a little bit by making the Philistines scared, but but Samson doesn't have redeeming qualities that we look at and go, oh, this is the man we want to emulate. No, as a matter of fact, Samson is just a warning. Samson is the warning of when we choose to do our own thing, God lets us. But we also have to face the real consequences that come with when God lets us do what we want to do. Okay, that's it for today. We'll get into John tomorrow.